Hello guys, how's it going? Um, so on this video, we're gonna be fitting these um, new hubs. These are ones that have been redrilled to five by one one four point three, so that they uh, fit my five by one one four threes instead of five by one twenties. Um, obviously, you can still run the five by one twenty, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I've already done all the others. Uh, I think I explained in a previous video. That I wasn't going to show you the fronts because I've already done a video on how to do front hubs um, and I'm also quite in a rush to get the car done for next weekend um, for retro rides um, so I'm not going to do so much filming um, but I can do this I've already done the other side um, but yeah we've got the passenger side now to do um, so yeah um, with the rear training arms you do need to have uh the bearings so the bearings don't come with the hubs i bought separate ones uh brand new um because these ones are um gone anyway like that um so yeah let's put that i don't know fuck it no hold it um so yeah, the bearings, they do need to be pressed in and out. Um, now you can either do that with one of like the hydraulic presses, um, or I have a range of bushing and like bush and bearing removal tools that I sort of put together and, and make something work. Um, don't worry if you don't have any of those, you can usually take them down to like your local garage and they'll be able to press them out for you for a very small amount. Um, so yeah, with that, I am going to be taking all the arms out. Um, I will also be removing the brake dust uh, shield um, while it's all off because I won't be running the drum brakes anymore because I'll be doing a dual caliper hydro and my actual handbrake handle does have um, like locks on it. So I'm just going to do that and get rid of the cable brake because um, I don't want this. To, it's, it's just another thing to fail inside of here, like the drum brakes um, and another annoying thing to put back together. So just get rid of those. Um, so yeah, let's start off. Very simple. Uh, obviously, you just need to take this hub nut off. Am I going to do that first? Uh, yeah, we'll just do that first. And then what we'll do is take the brake caliper and carrier off. Um, and then the disc off. And yeah, let's do that. Um, so obviously, these are usually dented in, like as you can see, to stop them spinning around. So you just need to get a flathead screwdriver and bang those out. Cool, so once you've sort of moved those out a bit of the way, you then want a 30 mil socket. That goes on there. Um, I like to use the matchy one, you know, the however the splines that is, I can't remember, 16 or something, rather than like the usual eight. Um, and then yeah, just knock that off. Then it's just, uh, we're gonna take the brake caliper off. Um, now you probably can do this with taking the carrier, uh, just from the carrier off, but I'm gonna take the caliper off anyway um because sometimes it makes it a bit easy because sometimes i have to wiggle this about um so yeah so there's like some of sometimes you have like these little plugs in the back which basically just carry these slide bolts here uh where are they uh here don't know if i can get a better view of that or not um and they're just a seven mil allen key um so you get your best seven mil bring that in like that so obviously we're doing this, I'm doing this, so get in there. From the back, let's try that right-handed. So if we're looking at it this way, obviously we're gonna be backwards facing to what you usually would have bolt. Oh my God, get in there. Trust me, it is a seven mil. I don't know why this is being such a pig. Did I even put out the seven mil? <laughs> right, yeah, so you're gonna do it. Basically, if you're looking at it this way, you're gonna be doing it uh, clockwise, because obviously it's backwards and you, undo stuff clock this don't matter um right let's try and get in this one um they can be in there quite stiff so i usually just get that in um and then get the handle of a a, 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 a ratchet and just that just cracks them off enough so let's get those out Cool, so once you've got those slide bots undone, uh, just pull them out a bit. And what I like to do is uh, undo the cap on the brake reservoir. Uh, luckily, I re like, redid all my brake lines um, in the engine bay, so mine haven't got much fluid of them anyway. And just pull the caliper towards you, and it should hopefully pull the piston in a bit. Um, 
Then you can just get a screwdriver, and just start levering that off. Um, usually a bit of a two-handed job. This is kind of a problem with using my phone, um, is I don't have my tripod, but we shall make do. Come on. And that's the caliper off and, you know, brake line probably fucked. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna take the carrier off. Uh, quite simple, this is just um, five, uh, sorry, not five, two 15 mil bolts here and here. Um, you basically just need to wind that in like this. So obviously, as you've just seen me do with the screwdriver, just doing it that way. Um, and basically, so there's less and less thread showing here. Right, so now that's wound in, next thing we need to do is take these little screws out. Uh, I say they're screws, but basically it's a five mil Allen key bit there on a, uh, it basically it's a five mil Allen key bit, which then goes down here. Um, and it basically has like a T head, uh, if that makes sense. So um, it's that, imagine that's it. And basically it'll go through um, a slot in here um, and you just basically twist it like 90 degrees. I can't find my five mil. Um, so I'm just gonna have to use my screwdriver and hope that works. Right, we've got it out, so that'll easy, make it easy to explain. So you see like there's that elongated hole there, um, and then this is the bit we're taking out. Um, so yeah, it looks like that. Uh, and there's only two of those. Uh, there's another one down uh, this side there. So just do the same with that. So once they're all out, we just need to basically just get a screwdriver on this spring here and um, just pry it off. I'm gonna apologize how dark it is. It is actually about uh, getting on for like 10 o'clock at the moment here. Um, right, that's that out. That's it. Oh, I should have done the other side. Um, I, uh, okay, so next would be taking this bit out. Um, I was about to show you how to take it out and then I accidentally pulled it out. Um, basically, let's have a look. So we have, oh, keep dropping it, there it is. This bit here, right? So, that slides into that hole there and also slides to this bit goes over that so it slides into that hole through the bit on the other cable there and then out and then this just closes over it um, and obviously when we take that off um, it was just doing that in reverse um, so that's that uh, next thing i need to do is um, we'll undo so the brake line here that's a 10 mil uh, there's two of those there um, Gonna also disconnect the ABS plug over there. I'm actually gonna be taking my ABS out. That's the sensor right there. Um, and then you have 19 bolt and nut here, another 19 bolt and nut underneath. Uh, these three here on the tow brackets um, are also 19s. And then an 18 here for the strut. I'm just gonna take those all off now. Um, you don't need to see me undoing those. Um, and then we'll be back and yeah, just basically pull the um arm the trailing arm out what i'll also point out as well is you're going to want to undo the brake cable handbrake cable up here um so that's like a nine and an 11 i think something like that you undo those put a little need to give it a bit of a yank from underneath like get under the car and do it um and that'll get it out but like i said earlier i'm taking it out so i'm literally just going to cut mine and then pull it through that way and put it through that way because it does take quite a while to undo those bolts so i will see you back here in a minute or a second yeah now sorry guys i just realized i said that all of these were 19s um and then that was an 18 they are in fact all 18 okay so yes okay so what we're gonna do now is basically knock this hub out um now what you need to do is just basically find whatever the fuck fits in here um, and a big enough hammer. Uh, and what we're going to do is just keep basically hitting the shit out of it. So, um... Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry, guys. I realised I was just using the wrong socket. I wanted this one to knock the actual hub out because this is the... Uh, See if I can clear it up a bit. So this part here, oh my God, let's use this. So this, ah, this part here is the actual hub. 
this part here is the inner race of the bearing. We want something that fits in this bit. Uh, now, luckily, this socket here does. I put it down this way. Um, it works really well. Well, well. Um, yeah, and now we're going to hit it. Um, boom, and there you go. That's out. So now that's out, it leaves the actual bearing exposed and so are my fingers because my gloves are falling apart. Um, and now what we've got is uh, this circlip that needs to come out. Now these are quite stiff. Um, obviously you do want something like these circlip pliers. You might be able to find other ways. Uh, the bearings I bought actually come with new ones. Um, so you can always cut it out if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, mine are really stuck. So what I'm going to do is heat them up with a blowtorch um, and it tends to loosen them. Cool, um, so once they're heated up, I like to give them just a little tap as well, uh, using one of those and the thing, basically I'll just rest that on like here, uh, on here, uh, and just sort of round where the circuit's exposed just to knock any sort of stuff off. Um, oh, right, I'm gonna need two hands for this because I'm gonna use a screwdriver to help get it out, but yeah. Right, so now that that's out, we can use this big one. Um, and once again, have at it. Right, so now that that bearing's out and suitably in pieces all over the floor, um, we can clean this up. What I'm gonna do is take off this dust cover, because like I said, I'm doing the dual caliper, so I don't need it. Um, remove the ABS as well. Um, and then I'm gonna clean up all in here just to make it a lot easier to get the bearing in. Uh, what you can use is just like sandpaper uh, and like disc brake cleaner. Um, I actually use the Dremel, uh, not with that attachment, um, but with like um, these wire wool. Um, they're not like the wheels or anything, the wire wheels. They're just like wire wool. Where are, the, where are they? I had a bag of them. Uh, I can't find them. Anyway, they're just basically like Scotch Bright, uh, but on a wheel. Um, so yeah, we'll come back after I've done all that. Because if we go into the freezer, we'll find this bag. And in this bag, we have the bearings. Um, now, you may be wondering why I put the bearings in the freezer. And that's basically because they're now, to do with science, are smaller. Um, not, not a great deal, um, but you don't need a great deal. It's basically just to make it easier to get in there. So, Ice cold. Right, so I'm just gonna smear a bit of grease on these. Um, and then, oh, look, you can see how cold that is. It's all frosty. Um, so once that's in sort of straight-ish, we're gonna then use, uh, I basically just have an assortment of different bearing um, and bushing tools that I've collected over a while. Like now I have this kit, it's missing a few bits, some bits are broken. Uh, this is actually a trailing arm bush removal tool, like specific for uh, taking the bushes out of those from when I poly bushed it ages ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stack these up, uh, how they are, and then they just wind through and they'll go in. Cool, so now that's in, we're going to just try and put the circlip in one-handed um, and see how that goes. Oh, almost, look at that. Um, yeah. Right, and then that is done. Um... Next thing, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, drill the holes in the disc to match the hubs of the 5x114. It's like half 10 now. Um, so I'm actually gonna go in and have a shower because uh, I noticed I've got a lot of black stuff around my face. But yeah, I'm kind of tired. Um, so I'll see you in the morning, which will be now, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's where I'm going to leave the video there um, and come back for tomorrow's video where I'll be doing the drilling of the hubs um, and also fitting my Dulce Fab uh, toe correction brackets as well for the training arm.